This is the video to introduce embedded supports. The purpose of this video is to introduce embedded supports you can use when designing and delivering instruction to students with disabilities and others who struggle. The video is broken into four sections. At the end of the first section, you should be able to define embedded supports. Next, you will understand and be able to name embedded supports for supporting development of background and vocabulary knowledge. Third, you will learn strategies for teaching students comprehension strategies. And finally, you will learn strategies for supporting students as they build connections between reading and writing. Part 1. What are embedded supports? Raising expectations for our children is an important piece of preparing students for the challenges of life in the 21st century. However, many students with learning disabilities, along with others who struggle, may be performing anywhere from two to five years behind their peers in reading, writing, mathematics, and other subject areas. As a result, teachers need access to high-quality teaching practices to support all learners. One group of effective practices known to help students make gains are called embedded supports. Embedded supports are built into existing instructional practices so they provide just-in-time support to help students relieve cognitive stress introduced by various learning tasks. Embedded supports help students focus their attention on critical learning tasks like comprehending text. Embedded supports take many forms, including universal design for learning, specific evidence-based practices such as explicit instruction, and within technology tools. In the following sections, we discuss how embedded supports can help students succeed within various literacy-related learning tasks. Pause the video and answer the question, what are embedded supports? If you've answered it, please go on when ready. If you would like a brief review, please review the previous section. Part 2. Embedded Supports for Building Background Knowledge and Vocabulary All students need strong banks of background knowledge about various topics and matching vocabulary knowledge. Effective approaches for supporting student development include emphasizing relationships between words and concepts, engaging interest, and providing numerous and various supports and scaffolds, including technology tools. One simple family of technology tools that teachers can use is online reference materials. This includes online dictionaries, visual thesauruses, and online encyclopedias. Within these online resources, students can also make use of the computer's built-in text-to-speech capabilities or a text-to-speech software program, which respectively offer a path to hear words and definitions read aloud. Other multimedia-based supports, including videos from sites like BrainPop and simple how-to diagrams, animated illustrations, and other visuals are useful tools for building background and vocabulary knowledge, especially for students who struggle with language. Sites such as How Stuff Works includes content-specific illustrations to help learners grasp sequences interactions, and relationships. Finally, maps and diagrams showing relationships among words and concepts can also help students connect new words to those that are already known. Pause the video and answer the question, what are technology tools that can be used to support development of background and vocabulary knowledge? If you've answered it, please go on when ready. If you would like a brief review, please review the previous section. Part 3. Embedded Supports to Teach Comprehension Strategies Comprehension strategies help students meet expectations in the various content areas, which is important because the characteristics of text in English language arts courses are quite different from those in science courses, which are different from historical documents. Students with disabilities need explicit and guided practice to see and hear strategies through modeling, and receive frequent prompts to use appropriate strategies. An example of an embedded strategy that can help support comprehension across various content areas is digital text. Digital text can be scanned by teachers or be used within a digital textbook. 
digital text can be read aloud using text-to-speech software and can be customized to meet visual needs of students with print-based disabilities and other challenges accessing text. This can include enlarged fonts, different background colors, and other presentation options. Text-to-speech is another embedded support that can help students build stronger comprehension and comprehension skills. Many students with disabilities and struggling readers have better listening than reading comprehension. Text-to-speech software frees up attention so students can focus on building stronger understandings of content. Look for programs that highlight text as it is read so your students can follow along and practice using scanning and tracking skills as they read. Finally, a good embedded support for building comprehension is annotations and study skills features. Many literacy programs and digital textbooks include options for making annotations and notes. These tools can help students become more active readers. Teach your students how to annotate text with visual sticky notes, bookmarking, highlighting, and color coding. Pause the video and answer the question, what are embedded supports that can help students improve their comprehension? If you've answered it, please go on when ready. If you would like a brief review, please review the previous section. Part 4 using embedded supports to support connections between reading and writing. Content area reading and academic literacies become more important as students move through the grades and into high school, but content-specific writing tasks may also pose challenges for students. While a student may feel comfortable writing a personal narrative or creative story, they may struggle to write an acceptable lab report or analytical essay. Your students must be able to write for multiple audiences and purposes, alone or collaboratively, and be able to use a variety of tools and platforms to do so. Many technology tools are available that can help you support your students with writing. One embedded support that can be useful for improving writing is a spelling and grammar checker, including newer contextual spell checkers. Though they are common elements of every word processor and many web browsers and email programs, students need strategies for using them effectively. Students with reading challenges may be prone to making errors in their writing that are not picked up by spell checkers. Using a correctly spelled word in a wrong context is an example. For these students, contextual spell check programs not only check for errors in spelling, they also highlight areas of mistaken word choice. Word prediction software programs are built on common patterns of English writing and misspellings and may have the ability to learn from users' mistakes. As a student types, these programs make predictions and oft offer suggested next words or phrases. Corrections are often more accurate than a traditional spell checker. Graphic organizer software with outlining and drafting capabilities can also be used to support struggling writers in a number of ways. They can be used as presentations to whole groups for a discussion of relationships and concepts or by individual students as before, during, and after reading organizers to aid comprehension. Programs that then convert these maps to outlines or drafts can help your learners convert their thinking into writing. Voice recognition software can be helpful for students with dysgraphia, spelling disabilities, and other motor issues that inhibit writing. Voice recognition offers students an alternative way of getting thoughts down on paper and may be useful for students who would traditionally need to use a transcription for writing tasks. Pause the video and answer the question, what are technology tools to help support student writing? If you've answered it, please go on when ready. If you would like a brief review, please review the previous section.